Returning to breaking news now, the Tasmanian Premier has confirmed he's quitting Parliament after nearly six years in the role. Will Hodgman made the announcement during a SNAP press conference. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. Well, good afternoon. Um, I'm today announcing uh, that I'll be resigning as a member of our state's parliament, uh, the leader of the Liberal Party and as Premier of Tasmania. I have this morning informed uh, my Cabinet colleagues and the Prime Minister of what uh, has been a very difficult decision. Uh, I've been Premier for just on six years and leader of the Liberal Party for 14. Um, I've given this job, which is an enormous honour and a privilege, absolutely everything. And it's a job I've loved. Um, it's undeniable that it's had an impact on my family uh, and I want to thank them for their amazing support for the 17 and a half years that I have been a Member of Parliament, our children's whole lives. Um, as we approach the halfway mark with two more years of this term of government, um, I believe that now is the right time for me to allow for new leadership. I've no doubt that the team that I've had the privilege uh, to lead not only has a clear plan to keep our state moving forward in a positive direction, uh, but also to tackle the challenges that we have always acknowledged and accepted responsibility for, uh, but to seize also the many opportunities that lie ahead for our state, and they are the best team to do it. I leave this job with Tasmania in a better place than when we started. We have turned Tasmania around. Um, for the first time ever, our economy is the strongest performing in the country. Tasmanian businesses are the most confident in the country and they're employing more Tasmanians. There are over 18,000 more Tasmanians employed now than when we came into government, with 1,600 more businesses. And it doesn't just happen by luck. We have delivered the most competitive business environment and the most positive conditions for businesses to prosper in the country. And I'm extremely proud to have been part of a government that has played its part in the turnaround state. We've delivered our plan to, to turn around our economy from being the worst in the country to the best, to take our state's budget from deficits to surpluses, to invest more into health, into education and into essential services and into the infrastructure that our growing state needs. In addition to taking our state from economic laggard to leader, uh, I'm especially proud of what we have done to improve education results. In the very first speech I made in our parliament, I spoke about the importance of education to give every Tasmanian their best shot in life. And under my government, our high schools now provide the years 11 and 12 that our students need we're increasing access to early education for our most disadvantaged communities and delivering more support for students with disabilities. There is a long way to go, but we're making progress in this most important of reforms. And today our retention rates, our TCAE attainment is up by more than 2,000, uh, by 10 per cent rather since 2014. Because we've managed our state's finances well, we are now able to invest more to improve services into our hospitals, employing over a thousand more health professionals to work in our health system and increasing access to more social and affordable housing and to reduce homelessness. We've led the country in our efforts to eliminate family and sexual violence. As Tasmania's First Minister for the Prevention of Family and Sexual Violence, I'm very proud of the fact that it's our government that's delivering an action plan that is now seeing a decrease in the number of high-risk incidents in our community. It was under my government that we invested an additional $52 million into our Family Violence Action Plan, more resources, better coordination of support services, more early intervention and prevention strategies, and it's described as nation-leading. These are just some of the important changes that have occurred under my government to improve the lives of Tasmanians. But Tasmania is also now a much more confident place. Our mighty tourism industry that I've loved being its minister for for the last six years has been at the centre of my government's plan. We've significantly increased the marketing for our state, invested in some of our world, the world's best events, festivals, eco-tourism attractions and at key destinations. More flights, more sailings of the spirits of Tasmania. 
we have had the highest rate of international tourists in the country in growth, and we've doubled the number of international visitors to our state over the last five years. 